Ever since I was a little girl, I've loved books. And as a grown-up, I particularly love rare books. So very excited to be in one of New York's foremost rare bookshops, Bauman's. What draws you to books? What's your, uh, what's your I mean, just total love for them? Total nerd and was an only child. So yeah. I was eight and sort of that was, your, that your, was what occupied me. Your companionship, yeah. Um, and Random also, books. you know, with a grandfather as a writer and a mother as a writer, I grew up surrounded scary. by books. What's your favorite of your grandfather's books? Um, I mean, I love favorite adult, mm -hmm. brilliant. And then children's, probably the obvious Charlie and the Chocolate Factory and then sort of um, less obviously one called The Twits. Um, but the first edition thing um, came from, I went to this bookshop um, in London. They had a first edition of The Pursuit of Love, which was one of my favorite books from when I was a teenager. And that was how the sort of whole that was your first, started. Uh, that was your first. Uh, yeah. Where do you keep your books now? Um, in my bookshelf. Yeah, <laughs> that's the right place for them. <laughs> and no one sort of gets it, you know, everyone says, well, shouldn't they be somewhere sort of somewhere? Yeah, saying, locked away in a safe. Them. No, you I want to see them. them. I read them yeah. in the bathtub. I mean, but I you say you're traveling a lot of, uh, a lot of time well, they come, for work. They, they come, come with they you? Come with yeah, me. Sure, sure. Uh, at the moment, Madame de Pompadour is sitting in the country sure, in England yeah. <laughs> <laughs> next to my bed there. And I've got Franny and Zuri next to my bed yeah. here. And um, When I encourage people, uh, who are interested in collecting to handle them. People are always very concerned it's going to uh, uh, add wear and tear, and that's true, but I think that there are certain well, there's, there's levels common <laughs> sense <laughs> yeah, <laughs> guidelines yeah, on you handling don't eat fish and chips. Yeah, and yeah. <laughs> but they should be handled, you know. I, I, I like to tell people that books are, are machines for reading. Can we look at that? Mm -hmm. This one's charming. This is a piece of uh, Hemingway Juvenilia. It's amazing. Yeah. It's like right. a crooked heart. <laughs> it's very telling, right? Yeah. Look. And then signed by him on the back. Look. And then this, I told you about the 1640 edition of Shakespeare's poems. The joints on it are very delicate, yeah. as you can see. So you can handle it, but don't open it too wide. There had been an edition of the sonnets in 1609, but that's all but unobtainable. I think there are only a handful of copies in existence, and they're in the British Library, and, you know. What a thing to have. Okay. This is gorgeous. This is a uh, 15th century book of hours from Bruges, from Belgium. And it has uh, about a dozen they are so illuminated miniatures. Beautiful. Yeah, they're really gorgeous, all hand-painted. Probably belonged to uh, an aristocratic family. Um, there is one miniature of a couple uh, kneeling at an altar wearing contemporary dress. Wow. Um, so that uh, uh, is believed to be the, uh, the, the couple, the family that had the book commissioned. And who goes, whose job is it to go and find? We're very active uh, uh, in terms of acquisition, and the Bowmans, the owners of the company, are traveling, I don't know, five, six months out of the year, looking at collections here and abroad. But because of our presence in the marketplace, a lot of people are aware of us and come to us. And have you ever had that sort of imagined magic moment where you go into someone's attic or you're in a sort of dusty old <laughs> house with heavy velvet and curtains and you find some treasure? Find. Yeah. yeah. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> I think much more common is the experience of going to somebody's house and getting a sinking feeling yeah. in the pit of your stomach <laughs> when you see that there's nothing but, you They're know. torn penguin Yeah, classics. exactly. Yeah. Or book club editions yeah. or, or, you know, Reader's wonderful digest. books that are tattered beyond, uh, beyond the um, producers of Cold Mountain bought a book from us to use in the film, uh, a work of uh, American natural history that uh, the Jude Law character carries with him. His, uh, his pet, yeah. Oh, they, they slaughtered the book. <laughs> I think they ripped the bindings oh off God. and bent the spine back, it you know. It was sent to the prop department. Yeah, yeah. Kind of when I saw the film, I cringed. <laughs> it was a great movie, but... You know.